So my dear students, today we shall discuss about what is the meaning of apparent dip here. You all know angle of dip. You are very well known with angle of dip. So let me uh, tell you a briefly what is the meaning of angle of dip. Angle of dip kya cheez hai? So ye jo hai, this is called as a, a magnetic meridian plane here. And the back part uh, which is considered here is said to be geographic meridian. Okay. So in this magnetic meridian, this point which is called as B, which is making a certain angle with a BH, this angle is called as angle of dip. You all know about that. This angle is called as angle of dip or angle of inclination. Okay. And you all know that. You all know that tan delta is equal to BV, that is opposite side. So this is going to be the opposite side BV and this is adjacent side BH. So we got tan delta is equal to BV by BH. But what do you mean by apparent uh, dip here? For that you have to imagine some other plane other than magnetic meridian, other than geographic meridian or a meridian plane ko imagine karna padega either. So what is it? So for example, ये जो magnetic meridian है यहाँ पर है, so red color में है, वो plane क्या है ये? This is called as magnetic meridian. Okay, so this red color is imagined to be this magnetic meridian, and uh, this is a in green color. If you observe, that is called as some other new plane which you have to imagine new plane. Okay, so that plane. If this is BH and the angle between the new plane and the magnetic meridian, imaginary plane and the magnetic meridian, if you consider, if you understand, then angle alpha. The angle between the magnetic meridian and the new plane which we have imagined is taken as angle alpha. So if this is BH, the component of that on the other plane which is behind, which is in a green color, is taken as BH cos theta. That green colored plane I am taking separately. Okay, so here BV and BV is not going to change. Here in real dip and apparent dip, whatever it may be, BV is common. Okay, so here if I uh, imagine this to be a big uh, book here, so if you open the book also here, this is going to be common for both the planes. This edge is going to be common for both the edges here. Now, let me discuss here. So apparent dip means what? Here the resultant made with the component of BH that is B cos theta is taken as apparent dip. So apparent dip is imagined to be a very 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 difficult topic but it's very easy actually. So the plane which is imaginary so in that imaginary plane which is behind the magnetic meridian this is called as resultant okay. So here if this is BV this is also BV because opposite sides are same here. Now I can write here from this that tan delta dash is taken as BV opposite side by adjacent side that is taken as BH. Okay, so BH cos alpha you have to imagine to be this is B opposite side by adjacent side BH cos alpha. Already you know that tan delta is BV by BH. So this implies that it can be imagined to be tan delta dash is equal to this BV by BH can be taken as tan delta which is shown here divided by BH okay. So BV by BH is uh, considered as tan delta and cos alpha is there here again okay. So cos alpha is there. So this is the relation between apparent depth and real dip. Apparent dip and real dip. So you have to remember that tan delta dash which is called as apparent dip is equal to tan delta which is called as real dip by cos alpha. So alpha is the angle between the magnetic meridian and the new plane which we are going to imagine that is taken as alpha. Okay, so if this is BH, this is going to be BH cos alpha, that plane I am drawing separately and explaining. And the angle made by the horizontal component and the resultant magnetic field is said to be apparent dip, not a real one, it's an apparent dip. This delta dash is imagined to be, it is apparent dip here, okay. 
okay and this angle delta is imagined to be a real dip here okay so hope you are enjoying the topic understood clearly